It's a little drippy out there, Rex. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Ah! Yep, go, go ahead, go ahead. It's only raining right here underneath the deck, I think. Let's go, come on. <laughs> what a baby. Come on, Rex, you come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is the last day of August. It's, uh, what is it? Wednesday, August 31st. And this is one of those situations you just wish for in the winter where every time it looks like the, the snow is about done, it just keeps on coming. I mean, the clearing line is right there, but it's still coming down. So if this were winter, we would have picked up an extra inch of snow on the backside. I had a, about a 65 minute duration thunderstorm this morning, which are now mostly out east of Boston. I had to wait, the sun's been up now for over a half hour, but these clouds are so tall and even though the elements of rain are moving to the northeast at about 30 to 40 miles an hour, the line itself is only slowly moving offshore. And actually the rain is increasing in intensity right now. Let's go check the gauge. I don't think it's a final number. And by the way, oh yeah, I get the, the mower out yesterday for the first time. I think I haven't mowed this part of the lawn since our July 4th party. I'm not kidding you either. All right. Everything's dripping, and oh my goodness, I don't even know what to do in this case. The rain gauge is full, right up to the brim. One inch on the nose. Come on, focus, focus, can you see it? Let's take it out, oh, this is cheating. Just trust me, it's one inch of water here just south of Boston. Talk about an overachiever winning the rainfall lottery. And what does happen when it overflows in these things? I gotta read the direction. It's getting wetter by the second. This is just amazing. There's the clearing line. I'm getting soaked. T-Rex is not gonna like this. So this is a front that's moving through right now. It was 90 to 95 yesterday. And it's really gonna turn much less humid as the day goes on. Here's the forecast for the next three to five days from weather.us. You see the dew point line, the blue line going right down. We're still in the mid 80s today with a west wind. And then a high pressure system after probably about two more cold fronts come by right over us tomorrow night. So Friday morning, there'll be a nice dew in the grass and temperatures will be in the 40s in a lot of spots. I'm sure it'll be 55 to 60 here near the water. And the Labor Day forecast, okay, it's, it's more complicated now. It looks like the front does want to come in later Sunday and the temperature's gonna kind of fall off a cliff here Sunday and Monday as the wind comes in from the Northeast. And, Every time we look at the guidance, it's more and more bullish for kind of a, a chilly, wet Monday. So we have that not going for us. <laughs> and as for the hurricane season, that system that we've been just staring at for days and days, Hurricane Center says, well, there's, there's a little bit more organized, but it's elongated and we can't really find a good center. And then Andy Hazelton this morning says, oh, there's the center. And the reason you can see it is because all the convection went away. So that's really frustrating. And that system is forecast to really not intensify very much and slowly move north toward the Bahamas and really slow down now. Let's look at the, uh, the graphic for the entire Atlantic Ocean next week. You see several tropical cyclones way out over the water and a couple of extra tropical cyclones, including one that's really gonna barrel into Western Europe. So the heat is gonna be shut off in Europe with a good amount of rain, at least in Western Europe. So yesterday was a pretty interesting day. Uh, some Twitter friends came all the way from New York City to visit us here on the water and have some lunch at the Hingham Shipyard. The Alba Family Adventures on the road. You guys are the best. Nevada, Ray, Alicia, part of the family, came to visit TK and T-Rex. And I'll leave you with uh, several minutes of their story. They're always asking us our story. Well, here's their story. Oh yeah, one more quick update to uh, the race day today, Wednesday. Twilight Series sailboat races Hingham Bay. It looks like we're gonna be from the west. Maybe a pretty nice breeze with the sun out and warm and dry and maybe 20 miles an hour at times, gusting. Only one more day left in August and it's a blue sky. We're close to 90 degrees, but there are a lot of people already looking forward toward ski season. What's your name? Where are you from? Um, my name is Nevada Alba. I'm from New York City. Where are you now? Um, somewhere. <laughs> a place. There are boats. There, there are, are boats. blue skies. And I'll give you a hint. They built a lot of ships here at the beginning of the World War II, 1941. 
What's your name? Where are you from? My name's Alicia Alda, and I'm also sort of from New York City. <laughs> Do you know where you are right now? Hingham, Massachusetts. All right. And what brings you to Hingham, Massachusetts? Oh. You bring us to Massachusetts. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? And why are you here? <laughs> well, uh, my name is Ray Alba from New York City. You guys may know us as the Alba Adventures. And uh, we came up to see our buddy Tim for the first time after 10 years. And he picked a nice spot. We got nice boats, good weather, some wind. He's complaining about the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I am very flattered and honored that you are here. Seriously, why did you come to Hingham, Massachusetts? Well because we wanted to say hi to you. We've known you for about 10 years. So we figured about time we say hello to you. That is just an incredible story. I am so uh, pleased I'm to meet you, Ray. I'm happy we finally got to meet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pleased to meet you. Alicia. Yeah. Nevada. Do you know where you got your name? Um, my dad had a dream and then he was like, oh, my name was Nevada in that dream. I was like in high school or whatever. And then yeah, he was like, oh, I'm glad I gave that girl a name that, that she's gonna remember. He's gonna remember or something like that. I don't. So do you I know? Don't, yeah. How did she get the name Nevada? So we were, she was a surprise baby. And, uh, you know, so we were debating names. And I was like, oh, it's so gonna be a boy. Giovanni. It's gonna be Giovanni. We're we'll calling Van. And then uh, we found out we're having a girl. We're, we were like, what? We're having a girl? So we're, we were looking at the names, database online, and we're arguing. It's late at night. <laughs> She's out to here. And next thing you know, <laughs> she goes to bed. And I go to bed next to her. And uh, I have this dream uh, that Alicia goes, hey, can you pick up our daughter from school? So I get in my bike. I ride to the school. And she's coming down. She's a teenager. She wasn't even born yet, but she's a teenager. She's coming down the school steps. And I see her with this boy. And I stopped it in my tracks because I wasn't ready. I mean, I wasn't ready for it. It was like, and I said to myself, thank God I gave that girl a name that boy will never forget. And I yelled, come on, Nevada, we gotta go. And she goes, okay, dad. How many times have you heard that story? Um, a lot, a lot, a lot. I love it that you named Nevada. And plus, some great skiing. You can ski in Nevada and California at the same exact time. One ski in Nevada, one ski in California. Have you done it? No, I've never been to Nevada. It's it's destined to be. When, when you Have you dreamt when that's going to happen yet? Uh, we've been trying to make it happen for a few years. So we have a few friends out in the Nevada area. Mount Rose is one place we, we got to check out. Some people from uh, what, Ski Talk, right? Yeah. So, Trisha and Phil Pugliese from SkiTalk.com. So, and, uh, so flattered to have the Alba family here at the Hingham Shipyard. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See you skiing. So do you know what the word Nevada means? I, I just learned. A snow-covered mountain. <laughs> and before you were even born, your parents knew that they wanted to name you Snow-Covered Mountain? Yes. Do you like Star Wars? Um, yes, but this is actually just a shirt that I stole from my dad a few years ago. All right, one more question. Who decorated your sneakers? Oh, me. I did mushrooms on the side on this one, and then this one I did little leaves. And those are beautiful. These are Converse? Yeah. And what is the age of paranoia? Oh, that's a lyric from American Idiots by Green Day. And lover with the mushrooms and the eyeball? That was just because I felt like it. Because like uh, the lover actually says loser, and then I just put the V in black. <laughs> <laughs> did that come to you in a dream? No, I don't dream. <laughs> you do dream. We'll talk more about that later. <laughs> what I should do, what I have, and that's where I get most of my kind of creative juice. And, and, and it's weird because I'll go back in time, like when I started my tech company, and I was like, oh, you know, let me learn this new programming language, and I didn't really program very much, and then I remember one day, I'm like trying to learn this new language, I was struggling, I go to bed, I just forget it, and in the dream, I, it just, it's just like this revelation happened, like all of a sudden I was coding, and I woke up, and it must have been like four or five in the morning, I walked to the computer and just started programming, right? Yeah, like, no, I remember that. And I was like, just... You spent like days on that. And then Can you like, explain that at all for those of us that don't understand? I, yeah, so I just like, I, I, I wanted to like learn how to program and and I just went to bed. I, was, I had been studying for like days and or weeks and I was getting nowhere. I was struggling with understanding how to do the syntax and then I just kind of went to bed in defeat and, and decided to just, just kind of fault it's just dream and then in the dream eventually I was by a computer and I was coding and I was 
coding this specific type of thing and I remember getting up like shortly after realizing that I'm actually not studying or coding it for real and went to my computer and coded and in fact it, I, it worked so and after that it was like it was like like water out of a faucet just turned it so on and kept you, going. you get inspired by your dreams quite regularly pretty much yeah do you have an explanation for that I have no idea yeah but I'll tell you another funny story so yeah, I, I think I think part of, it, part of this is fate too. I think so. How we met? Uh, so we met in two, uh, 1990. And, I'm, I'm uh, waiting to hear this one. I don't know about a dream about. <laughs> but it wasn't a dream. So we, we met. I was in. Yeah, I was like based in 1990. It was like 80 to five degrees in March. And uh, anyway, so the longest sort of story is that I went to Washington Square Park. My wife was at NYU. I was not there anymore. I was at City College, and uh, and I saw this pretty woman. It was really hot, and this comedian. It, like had an opening line you know and says to you know, the audience are there any single ladies in the house and I said to myself if I say nothing now I'll say nothing at all I point to her and this whole act was between a comedian and myself and I Alicia and, and um, to anyway long and short is like after the, the comedians that got destroyed it was just me and her and I asked her out to lunch I said how about lunch I'll buy which is almost harassment these days she goes yes right and I said at that moment she said yeah sure for lunch, it was like a, a, a light bulb moment. I said, oh my God, this is a girl I'm gonna marry. And that was 32 years ago. That was an awake dream. That was an awake dream. It was like literally, I, and I was having vision in my head about us being a family. It's crazy. And is today a special day for you guys? It's our anniversary. Yeah. It's 29 years married today. Yeah. And so, you're in yeah. Hingham, Massachusetts. <laughs> you ever been to Hingham before? Uh, I can't say that we have no, been to Hingham, Massachusetts. Hingham. Quincy, we had a Quincy, but not Hingham. Nevada. Are your parents a little nutty? <laughs> a, little, a little bit. We love them. I love them. We just met today. Oh, this is so special.